Okay, I'm going to start in on the Nazgul here. And I'm going to be using a Hunt 101. And I want to get his eyes just right. The spacing of those eyes is critical. So even though the face is almost entirely in shadow, and we don't ever really see the faces, I'm uh, kind of using lines to make a vague kind of form. And I may or may not leave some of those lines as I continue to ink. What I'm doing is I'm just um, giving myself the option of doing that rather than just going in solid black right from the start. Kind of uh, seeing how I like it. I might, I might leave just a few of these lines to indicate that, that form in the shadow. But it's nice to give yourself an option. You can always, always go darker. So I do that when I'm, when I'm doing line work as well. I will quite often start with a thin line if it's an area that I'm not sure exactly what value I'm going to have when I'm done. I'll start with a thin line and I can always go back over that line a second time, make it a little thicker. So, kind of start light, you can always go darker, and with lines, start thin, you can always thicken them up later on. That's kind of my own personal rule of thumb. So I am now working on ring race number three here. And before I go any further, I want to get the outline of this Hobbit done. Because as I mentioned before, critical thing when doing an ink piece that's complex like this is, uh, I want to make sure that I know what values are going to be 
when I start in on something. So I want to I want to do the ring wraith first because I know he's going to be dark. And once I've got that in place, all that inking in place, then I can work on the Hobbit and I will have the full picture of, of uh, what I'm working against. So as I ink this guy here, I'll be able to see how that reacts to the dark behind it and I can add or I can add more ink as needed or I can stop without going too far because I want to make sure that I have that nice contrast between the Hobbit and the Ring Wraith.